Hi, I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Every Bit Helps. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to connect your Ledger Nano S to the blockchain wallet. And I hope that you enjoy this video today and if you do then please give me a like as it really helps me to grow my channel and understand what kind of content you enjoy. And if you do like it and you feel that others may benefit then please feel free to share. I've also written a step-by-step -step guide, which I'll put in the summary below, which is also available on my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk. I've also previously created tutorial videos of how you connect your Ledger Nano S to the likes of my Ether wallet. However, blockchain now have new functionality that allows you to connect it to their wallet. So that's what I'm gonna be taking you through today. And by storing your private key on a hardware wallet, you're securing your crypto offline and keeping it another step away from hackers. Therefore, by using either their lockbox or by using a Ledger Nano S in conjunction with the online wallet, you kind of had the best of both worlds. Now, for those of you that haven't already purchased the likes of a hardware wallet, such as the Ledger Nano S, what I'll do is I'll put a link to it in the summary below so that you're buying it from somewhere secure. Alternatively, if you'd like to buy the blockchain lockbox, you can head over to the blockchain website at www.blockchain.com where you can purchase it through their site. So when you're initially in the blockchain wallet, you'll now see that you have a section called hardware. Now this hardware section cannot be used unless you do have a hardware device. So however, I actually have a Ledger Nano S. So what I'm gonna do is take you through the process of connecting that now. So if you click onto hardware on the left-hand side, And then it states that you can now secure your crypto offline. So you can trade, send and receive straight from your offline hardware wallet. And what I'm going to do is click on to get started. It then asks me what type of device I'm going to be connecting. So you can connect two different devices. So whether or not that be a lockbox or the Ledger Nano S device. I'm going to be taking us through Nano S. It then asks me to connect my Ledger Nano S. So I'll use that using the cable that comes with your Ledger Nano S device and just connect that into the USB port on your laptop. You then have two different options. So you can either set up a brand new device or you can sign in with a pin. Because mine's existing, I'm gonna be signing in with a pin. It then states that I need to connect my Nano S to my computer with the supplied USB cable. I then need to enter in my pin for my device and ensure that the device dashboard is open and you are not in an application. So what I'm gonna do is just put in my pin number now. And once that's gone through a period of waiting, it will then state when you are successful and you then click on to continue. It's now asking me to open the Bitcoin app on my Ledger Nano S and that will pair the device with my blockchain wallet so that it can always view the balance of my lockbox. Now, depending on the version of your Bitcoin app, you may be required to export your public keys on the device and you have to allow the export of six keys. It will then come up on your Ledger device asking whether or not you're happy to export your public key. And if you then click onto the tick, and you'll need to do that process six times. And once that's complete, it'll state that it's successfully set up your Nano S and you then have the ability to either start a tour or skip the tour. You'll then have your very own dashboard for your lockbox or for your Ledger Nano S. So this is the dashboard for your lockbox and it shows you a list of all the transactions made with your lockbox. And we can learn a little bit more about these assets. So here it will show me my asset list. So these are the assets that are supported by the lockbox and it will show me the balances of each asset. And if I want to filter the transactions that I'm viewing, I can click onto any of these cards and it will then show me just information for that asset. You also have the ability to search for your transactions and you have the ability to manage your apps. So from here you can add and you can update or you can remove applications from your blockchain wallet. I then have my total balance showing up in the top right hand corner here. You also have the ability to send and to request crypto using your device. So for, say for example, you'd like to send, 
you can send Bitcoin from your Ledger Nano S device as opposed to from your blockchain wallet. So you'd use exactly the same process as you would with the usual blockchain wallet. Now I have done a full tutorial and review of the blockchain wallet. And what I'll do is I'll put that in the top right hand corner now. So if you're not quite sure how to send or request funds from this wallet, then please feel free to follow the steps in that video. So as it stated earlier, I can view information or view transactions that are purely just for Bitcoin. So if I click onto the Bitcoin icon here, you'll see that all the transactions I'm viewing here are for Bitcoin. If I'd like to see Bitcoin and Ethereum, I can click on the two of them here. I can then click on the X's if I want to remove those. And because I have Stellar Lumens or XLM within my blockchain wallet, I can also have the ability to add XLM to my lockbox. And if I want to add other cryptocurrencies, what I would need to do is connect my lockbox. So I'd need to connect and unlock my hardware device, open the Stellar app on the device. And if you don't have that app on your device, you can install it via the app manager as you usually would with your Ledger Nana S. I'm just going to take you through the settings. So as previously stated as well, you can change the settings. So you can change the name of your Nano S so you can rename it. You can check for any updates that are available for your firmware. You can add a new device. You can restore your lockbox. You can take that product tour again and you can also remove the device. So that will essentially remove your Nano S from your blockchain web wallet by doing it safely and securely. And if you want to unpair that device, you simply click on to remove device. It'll then ask you if you want to unpair it and you'll lose your balance transaction and the account data. So that was a very brief overview of how you connect your Ledger Nano S to the blockchain.com wallet. And I hope you found this useful today. And if you do, then please give me a like. And if you'd like to see more tips, reviews and tutorials, then please hit subscribe or head over to my website at www.com everybithelps.co.uk where a blog post and step-by-step -step guide is also available. Thanks and I'll see you soon.